Okay, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to look at a problem where we have a round trip scenario. For this one, what we have is a cattle train that made a trip to Las Vegas and back. On the trip there, it traveled 78 miles per hour, and on the return trip, it went 65 miles per hour. How long did the trip there take if the return trip took two hours longer? So what we have is we have a starting point, and then we have a train that is traveling to Las Vegas. It tells us how fast they're traveling both directions. So the thing that is important to understand here is that the distance there, so the distance to Las Vegas is equal to the distance back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a little spreadsheet to kind of help us keep track of the information so that we can write all of the important information for both the rate and the time. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at two and then back or there and then back whichever way you want to write it think about it um, so we would set up our little table so we would have our rate and we would have our time and then we would have our distance which is equal to the rate times the time So for this one, let's fill in all of the information that we know. So every time you're doing a distance rate time problem, I would set up a little table like this. It just makes it a lot easier to keep track of everything and kind of visualize what is happening. So with this, it tells us that on the trip there, it traveled 78 miles per hour. So to Las Vegas, we went at 78 miles per hour. And then going back, we traveled at 65 miles per hour. So we have our two rates. And then for the next part, it tells us we're looking for how long did the trip there. So our unknown, the one that we're looking for is our trip to Las Vegas. We want to know how long that took. The return trip took two hours longer, which makes sense that it would be longer because we're traveling at a slower speed. So we would just take and multiply our distance times our rate. So we would take 78 times T, which is 78T and 65 times t plus 2. And I would go ahead and just distribute this in just to make it easier to work with. So we really have 65t plus 130. And now we have enough information to set up our problem. So our distance 2 is 78t. So this distance is equal to the distance back. So we have 65t plus 130. And then we can solve this problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract the 65t from both sides so that we get our um, variable on the same side. So we end up with 13t equals 130. And so we can see that t is 10. And you always want to go back and look at your chart. Remember that what we were looking for initially was this value. Um, if it asked for the trip back or the time back, we would have to plug this in and do the 10 plus 2. So the trip to Las Vegas took 10 hours. Um, there's a lot of different things that they could ask for here. They could ask you for the time there, um, the time for the return trip. So if they asked for the return trip, we could see that that would be 12 hours. Um, if it asked for how far of a distance did they travel, we would do the 78 times 10. So we could say that it was 780 miles. So there's a lot of different things that they could ask um, with this type of problem. But really the best thing to do is to draw out a little table just to kind of help you keep track of all of the information. As always, thanks for watching. Um, please continue to check out all of my other video content. And if there are any topics that you need me to cover, please just let me know.